banking or marching. Marching. All right, so we're listening and moving. Let's focus on the workout. So this is your time to work out using your body, right? Using a little balance and range of movement today. Let's keep your feet big and wide. Okay. So maybe you have a really busy day today. Take this moment and tell yourself you're going to work to your best ability. Let's bring the arms up to the side. You got it. So because this room echoes, I might talk a little bit less today, okay? So kind of just watching what we're doing and following the movement. Good. Okay, so we're gonna keep tapping. Now big arm circles. Arm circles, arm circles, tap, tap. Arm circles, tap, full circle, and one tap. Good, full circle, and one tap. And again, full circle, and then one, yep, yeah, and we'll send your march. All right, you guys, very good. So let's go into the mambo step. Right away, super easy movement, using your left foot first. So we'll go with the left foot first. Ready? Here we go. We go forward and back. Forward and back. Very nice. You can move a little bit over here so you can see my feet a little bit better. The screen is still a little crooked. But it was the best I could do today, so I'm just leaving it. Remember Wednesday, my screen was so crooked? Okay, so easy steps, Mongo. Got it. Good, now let's take the arms up and lift into the Mongo step. So remember how the warm up is about getting your blood flowing and warming up the muscles, but it's also about Switching your brain into workout modes so that you're telling your body you're going to work. Try one more. Right foot. You go down. We go up. Good. Just keep looking through the arms. In the mambo step. Forward and back. You've got it. Very good, you guys. So let's try six more. Five. We're going to back this way. Four. Three. Good, two, and then one hamstring curls, right left. So go right into the hamstring curls, where we draw the arms back. Very nice. So as you lift through the heel of your foot, try to kick your butt off. So let's bring the arms up right away. Open your toes. So we're going to try to open the toes. Good. Keep going, you guys. Just keep going. I'm going to see if I can move the whole camera back and gain a little foot. Foot room, let's see, so that you can see my feet a little bit better. Oh, okay. Ooh, that's way better. My head can loosen my feet. What were our arms doing? Oh, we got this. So we have this. Keep going. Okay, now I know you've been doing this a long time. Let's press or actually punch. So make a fist and punch it out to the side, corner, corner. So you're drawing your legs up and you're fisting and we're pushing out. Good, you got this. Corner, corner. Good. Now let's do two. 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 Yes. So two. Two. Very good. Two. Two. Now back to single. 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 And you're punching out with your arm. Drive your arm through the wall. Come through, come through there. Snap it back, snap it back. Good, now two, 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 and two, and then let's just march center. Oh, all right, remember, change your body, you guys, at any time. Let's get the hands on our hips and so toes tap. So, especially when it's hotter to the outside, you know that we should be drinking water. Let's take our hips side to side, easy, and just a few things and circles. So we'll come down and then circle it out. We got it. Very nice. Okay. Good job, you guys. Can you keep your hips rolling around? But try to keep your, your torso in the middle. 
You guys all know how to do this one. Let's go down the other direction. We roll back. Trying to keep the torso in the middle. Hips going out and around. Good. We keep going. A few more of these. Very nice. And then let's let that go. We just kind of watch. So we're going to stay in the middle and do some easy lifting. Bringing the arms and legs up together. So easy lifts. Good. Very nice. Now let's start to take the arms out to the side. So what I'd like you to try to do here is tap the outside of your glute, your abductor, but use your side stomach to do it. So it's like this. So just pretend I'm using my arm right, but notice how it's all in the stomach to lift your leg. You want to engage the core, your obliques. Inhale, exhale, let's keep going. All right, come with me here. Inhale, exhale, squeeze. One, two, three, four, five. Inhale, exhale. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. One more time and let it go. So it's not. Okay, we're going to go right into a little bit of work. Not really done with the warm up yet, but we're going to try to go into this one in the warm up. So you've got your left arm over your head, hand on your hip, and we lift and pull down. You can always take your chair and hold on to it. Here we go. Can you touch your toes? Gently. Gently. Here's, let's say, one. Let's begin. Two. Three, elbow four goes behind the leg. Five, six, seven, behind the leg. Eight, nine, good, you're going ten, eleven, twelve, sixteen, thirteen, fourteen, total ten, fifteen, one more, sixteen, and let that go. We'll try the other side. Really, we did about twenty reps. So let's do 20 of them. We brought the knee arm up. Hold for support if you need to. And this. Here's one. Two. Toe tap. Three. Four. Five. Toe tap. Six. Seven. Lift the knee. Eight. Take the elbow. Nine. To the outside of the leg. Good. Keep going. Can you keep going? Five more. Five. Four, three, gently touch, two, and one, and let that go. Good job, you guys. Who's done? Okay, so let's take our feet. This is also what we've been doing lately. So we're going to just take your feet and rock side to side. So you're lifting through the toes, right? So now my heels stay down, but the toes lift like that, and you're swaying from side to side. Good. Okay, you guys. We're going to take that, bring your arms up, and instead of swaying, now you're going to reach, keep the feet down, but bend the knee. Bend through your knee, bend through the knee, bend through the knee. Reach, reach. This is very much like the warrior pose. That's what it feels like. So you're coming side to side. Now add a lift and a flip through your hands. So can you reach side to side? Reach, good. How can you make this a little more intense? Get lower, reach deeper, flip the hands completely, keep your stomach drawn and tight if you can, shoulders back and down and your back is straight, and then let it go. Those are so much work. Take the arms out. Gotta do it again. So if you want to, maybe relax the legs for the seconds if you want. But we're gonna go back. Okay, you ready? Let's try it again. So we go super wide. Turn the toes out like a PA. Coming down with the arms out. So you go. We'll start leaning to your left. Okay, as big and wide as you can. Ready? Let's lean. Now flip the hands. Oh. Okay, so we're going to keep working here for 30 seconds, 29 seconds. 
25 seconds. Keep flipping. 20 seconds. Very good. Yeah. Keep going. Flip to the hands. Six seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. And just stay here if you can. Shake the arms out. So your shoulders may be a little achy. Stay how you are and then come up a little bit. Turn the toes out. Let's roll the shoulders. Ah, stay here. Hands behind your back, stretch. Static stretch, hold. So we're gonna finish our warm up right here. Chest up towards the Very good. Hold. Let's draw one arm up and just lift over. Can you soften your knees a little bit? Come back to center slot. Grab your arm, pull up and over. Soften the knees a little, side stretch. Come back up and press down. So now we're going to go into that stretch, range of movement, but also a lot of back work. So we're going to drop twice and then lift. Drop twice, lift, and drop twice. And then back up. You got it. As you lift your arms, tap your fingers right here. Tap. And then when you bring your arms up, right. Here, squeeze your back muscles as deep into the floor as you can. You have to put your mind into the back muscle. The most of it is right here. That's the hardest part, right there. Okay, let's keep going. We'll try it. Ten to get here. One. Slow down. Two. Squeeze the back. Three. Squeeze the back. Four. Squeeze the back. All right, that's the hard part at the top. Six, because you're squeezing your muscles down and in. Seven, as tight as you can. There's eight, squeeze your back muscles. Nine, down and in, down and in, and ten, and let it go. Oh, all right. Okay, you get your feet in, walking the feet into this tap. Good work, you guys. Okay, so let's grab a sip of water just to hydrate. Make sure you stay hydrated. And then we'll grab your ball. All right, yeah. So in the ball. So before we move into I don't know, whatever crazy stuff, let's use your ball in an easy way. So we're gonna come up. Remember? Remember how we did the um, let's see, this one? We're gonna try to hold on to the ball and squeeze the ball when it comes up overhead. So you like this? Lift and down and lift. So here's a couple ways you can intensify this. You're squeezing the ball at the top and then letting it go when you come down. And then if you can, try to not to touch the floor. So let me just visually show you just because. If you have a chair here, easily you could keep your foot off the floor and hold the chair, right? Squeeze the ball at the top and then lift. Squeeze the ball at the top and then lift. So we're working your whole torso, we're working your hips, your arms, Everything. Let's try it. Ready? Hand on the hip of the chair. Try not to touch the floor. Here we go. One, two, three. You're squeezing at the top. Four, five. Squeeze over your head. Six, seven. Squeeze over your head. Eight, nine, oh. ten. Squeeze over your head. Eleven, twelve. 13, power over your head, 14, squeeze the ball, 15, one more, 16, keep it going, oh, we'll try the other side. So it's just a little different because you're, you're squeezing the ball over your head instead of right here. And if you squeeze it here, this is a little easier than squeezing it up over the head. And you might feel that. Let's try it again. Ready? So we come up, hold the chair, this, and we lift. So one, two, try not to touch the floor. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, squeeze over the head, nine, squeeze over your head, ten, over the head, eleven, squeeze, twelve, squeeze, thirteen, 
14, two more, 15, two more, and 16. Oh, let me go. Come on. All right, we have two more rounds of those. Well, one on each side. Okay, so get your bearings, and then you need your chair, you need your chair. If not, use your side of the head. We're gonna pull down and lift and squeeze over the head. Okay, all right, here we go. One, squeeze, two, squeeze. Keep your foot off the floor, three, three. I just touched it. Five, six, seven, squeeze over your head, eight, Nine, try not to touch the floor. Ten, and you do it. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Do one more. Sixteen, and let that go. So maybe it's getting a little easier with your balance. Let's see. We'll try again on the other side. Toe is off the floor if you can. Ready? And let's go. One, squeeze. Two, squeeze. Three, oh, four, five, over here, squeeze, six, seven, squeeze, eight, nine, can you stay in balance? Ten, squeeze, eleven, squeeze, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, squeeze, sixteen, and let it go. Oh, okay, you can walk out. So it challenges your body a little bit more, I think. When you're trying to contract overhead, it kind of throws you off balance a little bit. Okay, let's take some deep breaths. Now, how can we get into cardio today? Oh, let's try. These are just kicks. You don't have to do them in the ceiling. Here, here, here. Just for the water. Remember, aqua? This is from an aqua class. So you can do this any way you want. Hold the chair, hold the wall, hold the counter, taking your foot forward and back, forward, back, forward, back, forward, back. So it's not that tough. Most of you, I tell most of you to do that the way that I just showed you. Then if you want to make it a little harder, can you do this? And use your arms to help you. Adding a little hop, a true front kick, true back kick, front kick. But, okay. So, anything you want to do, we're going to try to do that for 30 seconds. Okay. In fact, I'll turn on my little clock. I have my clock right here. You guys ready? Forward, back, hold the chair to you. Ready, set, go. So, I'm going to try a little hop with the kick. Forward, forward, back, forward, back. Can you keep going? It can be low. Watch my feet. I'm going really low. Really low. And I'm using a second rear kick. I'm going to go higher. See if I can maintain that. Ooh, four seconds. And let it go. Rest. Take some deep breaths. Oh, okay. So we're going to be able to do that. Let's try it on the other side. See these exact exercise. In modified in any way you want. All good. Ready? Set. Go. You're in it. Front, rear, front, rear, front. Now I'm hopping and it's harder. Hopping harder. You keep my arms. I'm going to go lower. Still hopping. But it's a little lower. It's a little easier. Forward, rear, forward, rear. Two seconds. And go. All right, just a deep breath. Oh, you should feel like a breath. Deep breath. Hold your hips. Deep breath, grab your body. Okay. Oh. Let's take deep breaths. We're going to go into strength. Biceps. Oh. So this could be a challenge. Especially if you can't hear me very well. But we'll see what happens, okay? All right. So we are. Oh. Let's see. Oh. Ah. Where am I? Uh, 
Uh, I don't know where that's at. Oh! Oh my god, yeah, so sorry. Okay, because I took so long, because I took too long, <laughs> we gotta go back to the cardio. Follow me here. Did one try. Squat, lift, squat, lift. We had too long of a break. So we're not gonna have a break. Let's move out of that break and work. So can we follow my knee? Squat. Side leg raise. Squat, side leg raise. Now see if you can touch your legs. Let's just do 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and then 1. Good job. Okay. Make sure to grab water. So we have a long break there. We're going to go into your biceps. So let's go ahead and grab whatever we need for. Whatever it is. Right? Oh, okay. All right, here we go. Follow my lead, okay? <laughs> Where is my, my, uh, my bicep track in the way? That's so weird. Let's do this. Let's do triceps together. Whatever way you want. So grab your wrist. Come with me. Flip steps. Two back. Grab it. Up and two. Down two. All right. So down two counts to your tricep. Up and two. So we're going to down two. This is tricep muscle. Go back with your arm. Go slow. Down slow. Now let's do some singles. Drop, lift. Over and over. Lunge. Go over. Go lower and higher. You ready? Pulse. Two. Lift two, lift two, lift two, lift two, lift two, lift two, lift two. Okay, down two legs. Up and two, down two. Down two again. Go down two. Up and two. Now we're going to go to the tricep and the backs. Up and up, and down, lift, take it back, come down, and up, out, in, and down. So this is a row to try to kick back. Come in, and then you go down, down. Up, kick back, come in straight down. Up, good. Oh, wait, we're going to keep going. Do one more. Now, seven singles. We're going to stay up, go up, and go seven. Six, stay up. Five, stay up. Four, elbows back. Three, shoulders square. Two, and then one. Now pulse. Three, two, one. Come in with the arm. Three, two, one. Come in with the arm. Three, two, one. So these are the pulses straight back behind you. Then let's do one more pulse. Three, two, one. Let's switch. Come over, or you come up, kick back, in and down. Go up, kick back. So you're using any size weight you want, focusing on the tricep. So it could be a little heavier if you're able to manage that. So we're coming up again, kick back, straight back and down, and then up. Good. Now let's stay up. Singles. Kick back. Seven. Six. Stay in a single. Five, elbows behind you. Four, three, seven, this tight. Two, now you're gonna pulse. Here we go. Three, two, one, come in. Go three, two, one, and in. Three, two, one, come back in. Two more. Three, two, one, and one more. Go up and pulse, 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 come through. All right, hang this. Make it a little heavier, so you're going to go a little bit heavier. Go 
Whatever weight you've got, the water bottle's heavy, come up and overhead. So it stands two pounds down and two pounds up. So we're going to go right back into this one. We're going to take our arm a bit over. Make the weight a little bit heavier if you can manage it. Okay? Only if you can manage it. So we're down and up. Very good. So there's a lot of reps. Coming down and up two counts. So it's slow. Down, down, up, up, down, down, up slow, down slow. Now let's go up. 16 singles. 16, 15, 14, 13. Can you do it? 12. Full range. 11. Whatever that is for you. 10. Good. 9. Eight and seven, full range is six. So I'm staying tight. Five, down and up. Four, good. Three, one, two, be nice. One, and then come up, bring it down. Hold on to the weights with both hands, shoulders back and down, chest out in a hinge, and then pulse up behind you. Back into the tricep, in a totally different movement. So we're pressing back, pressing back, pressing back. You got it. Keep pressing up. Very nice. Good. Now let's go a little wider in your arms. And then back straight back behind you. Straight back. Make sure the arms here are going straight back behind you. Good. Now let's rest for a moment. Then we're going to change our weights. Hold on to the water bottles or the weights vertical and press up. So now you're going to press up behind you with vertical. Vertical weights, holding on to them, pressing back behind you. You should be throwing the muscles through the shoulders and the back of the arms and the tricep. Keep pressing back. Can you keep going? Ready to fatigue. So it just starts to feel achy and weak and a little miserable. Isn't that great that we're doing that on purpose? Okay, let me go. Oh, let's just kind of bring the arms down. Roll through the shoulders, kind of shake the shoulders down and roll up a little bit. Good work, you guys. Okay. Now let's try going to the split scale. So you're going to use the same weight. Same arm. It's the tricep again. Same spot. So a split stance looks like this. You're just going one foot in front, the other foot behind. So it's really not a lunge. Okay, now challenge. Can you take both weights, separate the weights, up over your head, and extend? So this can be light, can be heavy, you can do whatever you want, but you're in a split stance. So this adds a little bit of balance to the movement that you're doing. And we're working with strength. Okay, ready? Let's go. So let's lift straight up and down. Two, three, you have a big rest. Four, so you should feel pretty good. Five, elbows straight in. Six, now squeeze your back glute. Eight more, squeeze your back glute. Nine, squeeze your back glute. 10, 11, straight down and up, 12, straight down and up, 13, 14, 15, squeeze your butt, 16, slow down, and let's let that go. Switch feet. So now we're going to switch to the other leg. And what I mean by squeezing your glute is just take your butt back here, this one, and squeeze it. That's all. You're just going to squeeze it. Okay, let's try up and over and down. Elbows back, next to the ears, and lift. Here's one. Two, you're going to 16. Three. So can you keep your stomach drawn and tight? Keep your shoulders down away from the ears as you lift and lower in full range. 10. I think that's 10 right here. 11. Squeeze your butt. 12. 13. Feel your triceps. 14. 15, do one more. 16, and let it go. All right, you guys. So let's grab a sip of water, and we're going to finish the triceps. I know you thought we were, maybe I told you we were, but we're going to do one more thing. But I want to see if you can do it today, okay? So all of you give it a try. You're going to take your chair, and we're not going to do dips. So it's not going to be dips, but we're going to hold our body open. So let's see if you can do this today. If you have injured wrists or your wrists are um, not strong or not comfortable, then don't do this one. And instead, grab your water bottle and just finish up the EOT. 
take your choices. But if you're good, we're gonna hold on to the chair and we're just gonna hold it down like this. That's it. That's what we're gonna do. Just stay just like this. So you're holding your body weight. But what I want you to do is try and bend the elbows a little bit and keep the shoulders down away from your ears. So you're, it's kind of like you're practicing and you're trying to build up strength to do a full dip. So you're just holding like this. This is it. That's all. You could be straighter with the elbows straight, or if you can manage, keep the elbows bent a little bit and hold it and hold it and hold it and keep holding it with the bent elbow. Bent elbows, hold, hold, hold. Can you keep holding with the arms bent and the shoulders down? Using your tricep muscles to keep you steady and then lift up and come back up to the chair. That's it. Okay, we'll do one more round. That's all it is. So you could, most of you I think probably can do the dips. Go ahead and do a full dip if you want. But if it's really a struggle, let's just start out and stay here or here and stay here. Okay, ready? Go now. Hold. Just hold. So if you're going into the dips, go ahead and go into your dips. Otherwise, stay here if you can. Your shoulders are down. Even draw the stomach muscle in tight. Keep the stomach tight. Shoulders down. Keep breathing. Elbows are bent. Can you keep holding? Seven seconds. Six, five, four, three, two, one. And come up, and you might feel really tired. We sometimes can get to the point where you can barely get back onto the chair. If you felt like that, that was really very nice. Okay, so we're going to do what we did the other day. We're going into bicep curls with the leg brace. So it's like a combination. Let's grab some water and then take your heaviest weights that you want, right? Whatever you can manage at your heaviest weight. All right, so let's see. Can we? Take our leg, and instead of going straight out, which we did on Wednesday, it's going to be taking your leg into the rear corner, just like we did before. So it's your rear corner, like that, with a bicep curl, okay? Tap your toes if you need to. Challenge your back, your balance. If you don't need to touch, try not to touch. But the goal is to keep your elbows in to your body. Load all your body weight on the right leg. So it's a lot of work. Ready, set, let's go. So one, rear corner, two, rear corner, three, elbows are in, four, elbows in, five, elbows in, six, pinch forward a little bit, seven. Can you still feel eight in the side of your body? And feel the side of your body with your arms. Twelve. 13, can you float your foot? 14, 15, and try one more. 16, and let that go. So we'll try the same thing on the other side. Uh, rear corner, try not to touch the ground if you're able. And then let's go ahead and lift your arms, came close. One, two, arms are in close. Three, so your leg, four on the left, five in your butt is taking on all that work. Seven, all that weight. Eight, nine, rear corner, 10, 11, focus on the outside legs, 12, 13, 14, two more, 15, can you do it again, 16, and let that go. Good job, let's rest for a moment. Take some deep breaths. Think about how you feel and how that works for you. Maybe have another round, of course, and let's see if we can do it. On this round, Maybe you can take your leg higher in the corner. Maybe make sure that you're not touching the ground every single time and keeping the elbows in. And here we go. Same thing. If you were able to manage that weight, maybe go a little heavier. Elbows are in. Stomach is tight. Let's lift. One, two. I'm going to try to go three a little higher. Four in the rear corner. Five, six. Elbows are in. Seven, lots of balance. Eight, use one arm, nine, and hold the chair. Ten, eleven, twelve, keep the elbows in. Thirteen, this is bicep. Fourteen, 
14, 15, and one more, 16, and let that go. So you can put the weights down for a moment if you want. They're heavy. All right, you ready? Short rest. Let's go to the other side. On the rear corner, we're going to publish number one. Two, elbows in. Three, load your left leg. Four, five, and your left glute. Six, seven, eight, you're going nine, ten, six more.
Don't even look at me. Look at the floor. See if you can get down and reach, alternate, reach, alternate. Take the hand behind you. Keep working through it. Remember, when you need to slow down, I'm slowing down. Keep working through it for the rest of the minute. Maybe you need to lighten up a little. Oh, breathe. Step back. Lift. Going for the rest of the minute. We got it. And five seconds. Oh, yeah. oh. Oh, all right, you're done. Ah, deep breaths. Oh, totally made it. Ooh, let's take a heart rate. Ah, find your pulse. Ah, you find it. I'm totally made it. Ready to count. Set, count. And time. Okay, set your heart rate. Let's grab your mat, your towel, your blanket, whatever you want to use. I will come down to the ball. All right. You guys know what bird dogs are, right? I know you know what those are. We're going to use that for your stomach and some range of movement a little bit. My ball's over here. <laughs> now I got to get up. Getting up can be tough, and getting down can be tough. All right. You can do this standing. Holding onto the seat of the chair. Can I show you? Like this. Let's say you don't want to get on the floor. This is the bird dog. Same arm, or you can do opposite arm and leg. We're going to do opposite arm and leg. So we're coming down. Hand is under the shoulder. Go into your bird dog. Hold your position. Look straight down. Everything is lined up. Then draw the knee in and out. In and out. So if you have a couch pillow, oh, see if that will work. Maybe your paper towel roll, and my ball is too big. So I'm going to put my ball down and just keep moving through it. So can you take your hand to your shin? Let's finish. Four more. Three more. Hold your position. Two more. One. And then hold. And let it go. We'll go the other side. So I'm going to use my ball because I used it for the first few reps on my other side. So I'm going to try to even it out. So here like this. Out and in. Out and in. Let's go. In and out. Line up your arms with your body line. So things in a straight line. Everyone in and out. So see if you can drop the knee up under your chest and then straight out behind you. Under the chest and then straight up. Looking straight down to the floor. And keep your supporting arm lined up underneath the armpit. Okay, three more. Three. We're kind of slow. Hold it. Slow. Hold it. And then the last one. Here we go. Oh. Okay, those are bird dogs. Okay, so let's take your pillow, your paper towel, your ball, whatever you want. And we're gonna sit in front of it and tuck in this in our low back. So let's say you got your ball, your couch pillow, even a um, rolled up jacket has worked for this. Heels are down, toes are lifted if you're on the floor. If you're not on the floor, go ahead and stay in the chair and do our basic core. Exercises that you usually do. Maybe you might want to do these today if you're sitting in a chair, okay? So a little bit of difference. For us, let's start by just scooting back, heels down, toes up, arms open, and you're gonna lift. That's all it is. It's a lift and laying back, tucking your chin, and you're gonna inhale, exhale. So you're exhaling as you lift. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Good. Now let's try doing this with your hands behind your head. It makes it a little more difficult. Can you focus so this on your stomach muscle? Exhale, inhale. Good. Now let's turn. Alternate. 
the shoulder to be opposite. So you're going to lean back and lean forward. Lean back, lean forward. Or actually, it would be more like lean back, pull forward, lean back, pull forward. Elbows are out super wide. So you shouldn't even see your arms. You should not see your elbows at all. So when you're coming up, you shouldn't see the elbows. Keep the back behind you. Okay, you keep working through this time. Down and up. Okay, let's finish this up with four more. Four, set to set. Three, two, and then one. And coming down, go up, come up, whichever you want. Rest for a moment. Okay, so let's do this. What time is it? It is, oh, it's only 2 or 2. We got to be way more work. All right, you guys, let's get the, the rope climbing abs. So we're tucking our, our ball or couch below, and let's reach. So remember, if these are tough, if the stomach work is really tough for you, you just do whatever you can. Even if it's this, it doesn't matter. As long as it's challenging for you and your stomach is working and you're working, that's all that you need to do. So you don't need to worry about going super high. Okay, let's try it together. 30 singles. Grab the same spot of the rope. Ready? Lift. Lift and come down. Two, three. Four, five, let's hide, six, if you can, eight, nine, grab the same spot on the rope, 12, 13, 14, let's hide it low, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, reach, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, one more, 30, and let that go. Really good job, guys. Okay, take some deep breaths. Okay, let's do some pulses. These are so easy. This is so easy. We're going to come up and forward. So let's say you have your couch pillow, your paper towel. Try to come up and over and bring your butt off of the floor. That's all. So the, the butt is off the floor and the ball is in your low back a little bit. That's, that's hard work. I have to come down. Because as soon as you go over here, you guys, your stomach is activated. As soon as you take your butt off the floor, you're here. You're working here. You should feel it. Okay, heels down, toes up. Take your arms out. Let's lift so it looks like this. Little tiny pulses. Rest. Rest for a second. Okay, we're going to try to do six zero. Who's 60? Who's doing the class today? Anybody 60 years old? Six zero? Heels down, toes so lifted. Okay, let's do it. Tuck in your chin, and you're gonna lift. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. A little lift. 30 more, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, you just start, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, you're almost there, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. So let's try something a little different. I just want to see if you can do this. This is for your glutes, your hamstrings, the back of your body. And it looks like this. So your hands are behind you, see so if you can do it. Cross your leg over, heel is down, and then you're going to lift off the ground. All right, so I know some of you may not be able to do that, but if you can, give it a try. We'll do one set on each side, 16. So you lift your butt off the floor like this, and you try to get as high as you can so your body becomes like a tabletop square across. But more than any of that, squeeze your butt, squeeze your hamstring, and drive your heel into the floor. So it may look like this. So I'm going to try with my shoulders here. If I can get up high enough, 
like a tabletop, and then come back down and use your button hamstrings. Okay, you ready? Let's do it. If you don't want to do these, do some more core. Okay, ready? Here we go. One, two, three. Drive your heel down. Four. Drive your heel. Five. Into the floor. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Sixteen. Ten. Drive your heel down. Good. Twelve. Back of the body. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Rest. That can be done in any way you're able to do it. So it doesn't have to look like mine. Let's try again on the other side. Change the other leg. Totally on the other leg. Heel is down to a lift. And you're going to drive the heel to the floor by using your butt and hamstrings. Let's do two practice ones together. So we're here up and down and up and down. Your hands can face any way that feels comfortable for you. Okay. Ready? Sixteen. Set, let's lift. One, two, three. Try your heel down. Four, five. Heel down. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Heel down. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. Good. Keep going. Fourteen, fifteen. Do one more. Sixteen. And that's it. Those. Come out of that. Oh, and just sit up. Let's see what time is it. It's only two away. We have more to do. So just kind of sit down wherever you want. All right, there's two more things I want to have you try to do. This is core, and you're going to use your ball, your couch pillow. I wish I could show you like a jacket. You just need anything, anything would be fine. So this is the loop. I'll show you. You're going to rub it on your side, and some of you have probably done this. Take your ball or your paper towel roll. And I know it can be done because I've used the paper towel roll before. So I know that you can do it. You can put down onto the floor. Just hold here for a moment. Try not to fall asleep. So stay here. So the ball or the paper towel ball is between the legs and you're laying on your chest. Then the movement is, I'm going to show you the full range first. This is full range. That's full range. Or you can do this just the legs. See how I'm using just the legs, but my shoulders are coming up. Or just the upper body, and you're like reaching like this, or here, or reaching here, like that. Good. So, one of those three ways. The key is can you keep squeezing the ball? So, you can be squeezing the ball the whole time as we work. Okay? Let's see if you can do it. One more thing. Two, lay on your butt cheek, not your hip. So, lay on your butt cheek. So, you're actually kind of leaning back a little bit. You wouldn't be right on the side of your body. It's more laying, laying back a little. So you're laying on your butt cheek, the fatty part of your butt, the muscle. Okay, you ready? Let's go. One, two, squeeze the ball. Three, four, squeeze the ball. Five, or maybe you're here. Six, seven, maybe you're here. Eight, or here. Nine, ten. 11, keep going, 12, 13, side of 14, low stomach, 15, one more, 16, and then let it go. You come down, you can rest, but we're going to go to the other side. So we come up, careful, however you're ready to sit up, and we go to the other side. Okay, right. so we flip over. We just did 16, so we did a round of 16. So you take your ball, paper towel, whatever you've got. In between the legs, and then you can come down and see how I'm all the way down. You can do this all the way down if you wanted to, or I kind of stay up. Squeeze the ball. You know what to do. Ready? Lift one, two, whatever you're gonna do. Three, four. Inhale, exhale. Focus on the oh, eight, seven. Both hooks here, and the low abs right there. Ten. 11, 12, use your stomach, 13, to get yourself up, 14, use your stomach, 15, one more to get up, 16, let it go, and you're totally done, you guys. Okay, we are done. Let's go ahead and put the ball or the paper towel roll to the side, whatever you have, and let's come in and do the child's pose. So if you're able, come back onto the floor with us so that you can do a little bit of the stretching. So we're gonna come down, and see if you can bring both arms over your head. 
This is the child's pose. So you're going to reach up overhead. See if you can drop your face between your arms and stretch through the shoulders, stretch through the armpits. So you can feel all that muscle in your lats. And then let's take one arm underneath the other and we'll stretch through your shoulder. So this is a good shoulder stretch. A couple seconds. And then let's switch over. So we're going to go back to the other side. Bring it forward, forward to the other side. Bring it to the other side. And really go under uh, and stretch through the shoulder. And hold it here. All right, you guys. So now let's come up. Probably most of you will be able to do this exercise. Or it's actually a stretch. But can you bring your foot out in front of you and bring your body up? So you're going to be on one knee. The other leg is up over the ankle of the knee. So it looks like this. So you're here. Right here. Okay. So now we're just going to stay here. Bring your opposite arm up over the head and turn it into that opposite foot. Gently, carefully, just rotate into that opposite foot. Keep breathing and slowly come back to the center. Let's keep turning though. So turn out also in this position. Then you're going to feel a little stretch to the inside of the leg. Come back to the center slow and we'll switch to the other side. So I'm just going to switch feet like this. But do whatever.